everybody my name is Garabo and welcome to my channel <laughs> so if you are a new subscriber allow me to welcome you and say welcome and welcome and if you're a returning subscriber consistency is key I know I am inconsistent but there's no reason for you to be okay as you guys can see from the title today I'm filming a an assumptions tag rather and I had asked you guys on my Instagram to please send through your assumptions and you guys assume you guys you guys let us get into the video the first one is how I well that is not true guys I really love people I really do I just feel like I'm a bit awkward in in real life than I am on social media on social media I'm like on a hundred and then in real life I tone it down a bit I don't know why but I just yeah Usaba Abafana the boys Jonga Mamela when I tell you that that's on period trust me you love food yes I do love food I I do yeah I have to walk on eggshells around you <laughs> okay guys this assumption that i will i will probably one day in the future film a story time and tell you guys all about this all right you love your comfort zone uh unfortunately this is very true i i really i just love i just love my comfort zone but i feel like this year has really just this year has been crazy and i feel like in many aspects of my life i've just been pushed out of my comfort zone and yeah but i do love my comfort zone i'm not i'm not even gonna lie about it oh you coconut slash snob <laughs> well 1.1 1 .1, this is not true 1.2 this is really not true guys i'm not i just feel like i probably don't fit the typical black girl profile as like i don't fit it perfectly but I'm not a snob, guys. Please, I'm not a coconut. Ew. I'm not. I'm really not. I'm not. I'm not. I own a boyfriend. You look Zulu. Well, I'm not sure if this is a compliment. Because, I mean, how do Zulus look? And why is, why is Zulus? Anyways, give me food too. I'm not Zulu. You are insecure. This is true. And I feel like it's it's okay to have insecurities in life because somehow through your insecurities, you learn more about yourself, your preferences, likes and dislikes. What is not okay though is kind of projecting your insecurities onto others, be it friends, family, or your partner in a relationship. Like, don't do it. You are the last born. I I wish you know I I wish I was the last born, but I'm not. I'm my mother's first born and my dad's second born. I have a big sister. You love Zulu men. <laughs> La Lela, Mengi Chela Oguti. I was ready to be Umagot there by the Zulu land. Trust me, I was ready to have Umamezal cows guys Zulu men. You know, I was ready to be umagachi, madlangin, or whatever. But then life had other plans, and a girl is not covered by this guy. Okay. You spend too much money on clothes. This is true. This is very true. You are rude. I car. I. I know. I'm not rude, guys. I'm not. I'm not. You are daddy's girl. <laughs> I feel like yes, that's true. All of my all of my dad's girls all of, all three of us are actually daddy's girls you are a corporate girl well i think what 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 exactly does like yes 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 you hate social gatherings we are jola but i don't want us to know him <laughs> You always say you're broke, but always have money to buy clothes. Ish, guys, listen. Clothes are 
clothes are not something that clothes are not something that we can negotiate okay if i have 200 rands and i need to buy a shirt i'm buying that shirt i don't care whether i had to buy noodles or whatever i'm buying that shirt and i will figure out how to get the noodles yes you have small boobs like i that's not true my boobs aren't small they aren't small you lost weight what happened well i think i don't i honestly i don't want to lie i don't know what happened but i must say my weight started is it deteriorating my weight started losing last year in november after my my grandmother's death my my grandmother my grandmother's passing yes lost my dad's mom last year in november and yes that i feel like that was just that was and since then i've just never been able to go back to my original weight and i'm not complaining girl let's go snap or whatever <laughs> okay you haven't been to cape town yo this is true this is very true and sad but true you're so sweet period you're not afraid of losing anyone in your life other than yourself well I feel like this assumption is not true and I mean growing up or whatever I've always had a fear of death like losing people to death and I feel like with my grandmother's passing that just because I feel like I was now emotionally mature to mature enough to understand death the reality of it and its effect and it just messed me up and now of all my my list of fears death is like at the top I'm so scared guys yeah I don't want to lose anybody yo okay you've never been a ghetto and you need to start stop trying to be just stop uh, guys me I don't know what what is it what constitutes or what stipulates or what what determines a person who is ghetto girl 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 and that's why I, okay sorry i i can guys like i don't know what to say i will try and stop being ghetto if only you can clarify what exactly does being ghetto mean because i eat ghetto snacks and i'm from the ghetto you like the wines <laughs> I'm the girl right, guys it's just water you haven't traveled outside south africa this is very true i don't even own a passport if stubborn was a person it would be you <laughs> thank you you are a white person trapped in black skin yeah Kaloku, this assumption is coming from my friend my friend whom i met first day of university when i was a first year on my welcoming day my my own my friend my own friend all i have to say is girl fix your life you are such a gone girl no lies beauty with a whole lot of brains <laughs> again no lies and that's on period it's not all the vibes you get me? Understand? <laughs> mm, a lover of wine. Listen, I love wine, guys. I love wine. I just love the idea of drinking wine. What's sad though is that I do not drink. But I'm I'm gonna start. Trust me, I'm gonna start. Okay? So you dala guys, you dala for una pussy aibo. Once 600 children. <laughs> and guys, no, I do want children, but I don't want, like, five is like the maximum, maximum, maximum. I don't want more than five kids. And the last one is I thought you were evil as a kid because you were always mean to me. Guys, when I tell you that when I wrote this, when I actually saw this assumption, 
I literally replied to her and I feel like I just talked through it because I felt so bad I was so hurt and I just felt like you know what I need to just set the record straight which yeah as a kid I feel like I was I was me and I don't even understand why you know when I think about it I'm like bunny but like yes I was mean as a kid but now not anymore and I feel like this is why I I cannot tolerate mean people or rude people because it's just it's not nice you know it's not nice period okay guys that was the end of this video please like please comment and do subscribe and also I hope you guys enjoy this video I will see you guys in my next one. Kulungileke. Bye.